Hey guys, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. A friend of mine's wife recently had back surgery. Because of this, for the next few weeks to months, she's not able to lift their toddler over the side of the crib into the crib for nap time. So I have the side of their crib here. The plan is to remove several spindles and insert a door. A door that can be opened up for their son to crawl into his crib and then latch so he can't get back out. The first thing I did was take my pool saw and cut each one of the dowels as close as I could to the top and bottom frame to make room for the new door. Then using a combination of a block plane, a paring chisel, and a random orbital sander, I smoothed down the stubs from all the dowels that I cut off. I had some birch left over from a project that was a really close match to the beach this crib was made out of. Like all projects that when I'm using hardwood, the first step is to joint one face and one edge. Then I ran everything through the planer to get it to final thickness. Then I finished up ripping each piece to width over the table saw. I really should have used a push block right there. Without taking the entire gate apart, I couldn't think of a way to easily join it together. So I pre-drilled and used trim head screws from the top and the bottom. After cutting the pieces for the door frame to length, I evenly spaced five holes on the top and bottom to place the dowels. Just like I did with the gate frame, I used trim head screws to screw the corners of the door together. So I got it all finished up. I added a piano hinge and a sash lock. So now when they're ready to put their toddler to bed, they can unlatch it, let him crawl in, and then close it and latch it back. And until about five minutes later when he figures out how to unlatch it himself, it'll hold him in. If you like my videos, hit that thumbs up, and share and subscribe. And if you want to support me, click on my Patreon link below. Thanks for watching. Good night. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Bye. Bye.